Hello YouTube fans, my name is Leo and welcome back to another video by the Supersonic Lion. Today's topic will be about what could possibly have been the worst terrorist attack in history if the terrorist plot had succeeded. But before I continue, I really want to encourage you to both hit that subscribe button and leave a like and a comment, all of which is going to show you guys and other people that my channel has cool information. But anyways, let's get into today's topic. So I am sure that all of you have at least heard of the 9-11 attacks or September 11th attacks of 2001, which were funded and masterminded by Osama bin Laden, a Saudi Arabian man who was the head of Islamic terrorist organization Al-Qaeda. But while you may have known all of that, what you may not have known is that that's not their only terrorist attack that they had planned. Another terrorist attack they had planned occurred six years earlier, and it was called the Bajinka plant under an, inc under an incorrect assumption that the word Bajinka, as in Bajinka plot, um, had meant evil in Croatian. But either way, Osama bin Laden funded the plan, which was organized, generally speaking, by two terrorists named Ramzi Youssef and Khalid um, Sheikh um, Muhammad who his name is commonly abbreviated as KSM. Both of these people had two years earlier been major organizers in the 1993 World Trade Center bombings, which had failed to destroy both of the Twin Towers that would later be destroyed on 9-11. But they had a much bigger plan in store this time. And it had three stages, which were going to be executed throughout January of 1995. But originally, it wasn't gonna be that late because their original first stage was going to occur in November of 1994. What they were planning to do was assassinate the then U.S. President Bill Clinton when he was traveling to the Manila in the Philippines for a five-day tour. But the men decided against that because they figured that it might be too difficult to assassinate him. Instead, they opted to assassinate Pope John Paul II, the current Pope of the Catholic Church, thinking that it was going to be easier. And in order to do that, one terrorist was going to disguise himself as a priest with a Bible in hand to not look suspicious and detonate a bomb while his motorcade was passing, which to his hope was either going to kill or injure to him. But either way, the same thing was going to happen. Um, people would be sad, especially Catholics and Christians, for the Pope's step, and that will divert attention from the rest of the plan, which had two other stages. Stage two was the biggest one of those stages because it was going to involve at least five terrorists boarding 11 different aircrafts from Asian cities to American cities. Some of the Asian cities that they were going to be traveling to had included Manila, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Tokyo, Seoul, and Bangkok. And they were traveling to five different American cities. Honolulu, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Chicago, and New York on these airplanes. But they weren't going to do the whole trip because those flights had stopovers where they would only ride the first leg and get off at those stopovers. But during their flight, they would plant and assemble a bomb onto the plane, which was going to explode in the middle of the flight. You see, timers were set on each bombs so that they would explode almost simultaneously at the exact same time while being probably over the Pacific Ocean on their way to the United States. In order to avoid detection, all five men that were involved in the plot um, were going to fly to Pakistan so that they go back to their home. Another one of the men involved in the plot that was going to be using one of their terrorists was a guy named Abdul Hakim Maroud, and he was the main conspirator of the third and final stage of the plot which was going to be hijacking a plane to crash into the CIA quarters, which are headquarters, which are located in Langley, Virginia. According to the U.S. government, they estimate that in total, um, this plot was going to kill at least 4,000 people. Already, that is 1,000 more people than were killed in 9-11. But it turns out only one person died out of those 4,000. And that happened on December 11th, 1994, when Yusuf was working on a test bomb to see if it worked for his plan. He boarded Philippine Airlines Flight 434, 
running from Manila to Tokyo, and the, pl the bomb worked, which would kill one person and injure a further 10 people. But the reason why there was no more deaths involved in this plan was because the plan was stopped on January 6, 1995, in Manila, Philippines, in Yusuf's apartment. On that day, a fire was started in his room, which the police came to investigate because they were suspicious that he had started it. And the police came, and the villagent Filipino officers found something they weren't going wanting to find. They found explosive weapons in his room and a computer database of all of his plan that he was trying to do with his other terrorists. And because of that, he and the other terrorists involved were arrested and now are incarcerated in the U.S., although KSM would later mastermind the 9-11s before being arrested. After being arrested, Maroud and Youssef would confess to having had this plot, which would later be used in the September 11th attacks, except on a more modified version that would end up killing 3,000 people. But after funding the 9-11 attacks, KSM would later go to one of the most strictest prisons in the U.S., Guatemala Bay Military Prison. And that is all the information we have for this video. Bye, see you next time, and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more.